So today we're going to try to remove this action figure from the packaging uh, by trying to avoid to damage the packaging itself and the printed area and let's try to avoid damaging the comics also and of course the figure inside by using the technique of uh, um, using a nail polish remover this acetone I actually experimented on this on small scale and it's a success as you can see I safely managed to remove this uh, Batman Hot Wheels uh, without further damaging the uh, actual packaging itself unfortunately um, you need to protect your toys from the effect of this chemical as you can see some parts of the gold paint from the Hot Wheels has, was removed and transferred to the white box portion so that's what we're going to try to avoid and let's put this back safely without further damaging this one and let's see if it's going to work on a large scale figure so the reason I wanted to preserve this packaging is that this is unpunch so I don't want to destroy the packaging but I wanted to remove uh, the figure inside for display so probably we're just going to uh, remove this the glue from these parts the lower parts uh, so we can safely remove um, Islamurai from its beautiful packaging and it has snake scale on the plastic cover because it's part of the snake man um, rise of the snake man uh, series so without further ado let's try to remove the dissolve the glue uh, from the packaging using this acetone and hopefully we're not going to damage this uh, packaging so we're using a q-tip let's safely apply uh, some acetone the back part to dissolve the glue I hope this works or else um, this figure is screwed
see if it works. I think it's working. Just have to be more patient. Try for damaging the paint. I think we are. careful also in applying um, this chemical because as you can see it can also easily damage the paint if you overdo it
feel if we've done enough damage on this but I guess we can simply remove the comics inside well no damage so far and we've got everything intact I suppose let's keep this in a safe place and let's continue with our experiment I'm losing my patience but I guess if you are patient enough you can do this properly so let's continue up to this point and then let's see how much damage we did uh, to the packaging okay I think this is good enough to remove our figure inside. Okay. Let's get that away and wash our hands to clean up those chemicals before touching the figure. Especially that um, Slamurai is um, white, so we don't want to stain uh, the paint job on this action figure. So we need to totally clean our hands before touching it. So first, let's see how much damage we've done with our packaging. But so far, this is the cleanest uh, unboxing I've got so far for Masters of the Universe collection. Even though we've got paint damages on this part, where we overdid uh, putting some acetone and also this part so maybe if you are more patient this is going to be successful and another damage here yeah some parts of the paint coating ah, I see because there is a gloss paint coating here so it melted a bit because um, each figure here has gloss uh, paint coating so that's where the damage is and also we have some stains going on here and there and also here I don't know where those stains came from but so far our packaging is intact and as you can see the reason why I uh, want to keep this box is because it's unpunch so it has more value than the punch ones and with our figures, I hope we did not um, make any damages. I think so. Especially this is a pure white. So let's see 
how it looks so we can finally have this figure on display and also at the same time avoided to uh, destroy the packaging so we can keep this safe and sound while we can be able to display our action figure on our shelves so I guess we did no damage so far with our slamurai so far so good this is his samurai here and bow and arrow where does this go so the samurai should be the katana I mean should be here while he holds the bow and arrow how does it work not quite sure how you hold this maybe like that and the uh, nunchuck on the other hand oh probably we can put this here that's better and there you are ladies and gentlemen I think we've successfully, somehow successfully, <laughs> uh, managed to, um, as much as possible, safely remove our action figure um, from the packaging without putting so much damage on it. So here's the close-up view, and these are the battle scars here. So I guess if you are more patient than I am, you can do a better job. But so far I'm happy that I was able to keep this uh, unpunch packaging. And I can call this a successful project. I can be able to display this action figure, this cool action figure along with some of my Masters of the Universe collection while keeping the packaging intact. So hope you enjoy watching. Uh, please like and subscribe to support this channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.